Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all super well today. For those who are new, my name is Zuzka and my channel is all about fashion, beauty, travel and lifestyle. So if you like any of those topics, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. As you can see from the title of the video, I'm sharing here with you my entire Chanel handbag collection. Through my several years of shopping uh, for Chanel handbags, I sold a few of them and uh, now I've got quite a refined collection which I really love and I use. So if you've got any question about any of the bags, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions as well. If you would like me to do a detailed review, let me know. I will be showing you the handbags according to the size, so from the biggest size again to the smallest, the same like I've done the Louis Vuitton collections because I really don't remember the order I bought them in. Without any further ado, let's get started. First of the handbags, I mean the biggest handbags, is my actually recent purchase and it is uh, the Chanel Deville in a small size in like a denim sort of color. As I said, I needed a bag that would fit a laptop so I thought it would be really nice mostly for a casual wear and yeah I wore it already several times love it it is material so i really like the fact that it's a darker color and wouldn't see all mess especially when you want to place it on the floor look i mean it doesn't have even feet so it is a one big compartment pockets on each side um one zipper pocket on one side and two pockets on the other and yeah very simple bag love it the next handbag in a size is this uh Coco handle in a small size, according to Chanel, they call it medium. It's got the snake skin uh, handle in burgundy color, which I really like with a black combination. Caviar skin, uh, I mean, I really love it. Uh, if you need to carry a little bit more than just the essential, this is a great bag because it's got quite deeper and wider bottom, so you can quite a lot it's got a zipper pocket in the middle and zipper small pocket on the side as I said caviar leather you can't really do anything wrong it still looks like brand new I wore it uh, when I used to work so for work it was really amazing and um, it's got a gold hardware the strap is removable as you can see and it can be carried as I usually carry top handled or, or crook of your arm or on a shoulder with a strap. The strap is very short, so you can't really wear it crossbody. I'm 172, definitely I can't wear it crossbody. And even for a shorter person, for the aesthetic point of view, I wouldn't really like it because the handle would stick out and just not really nice. Another one is Coco handle, again in a small size. And this beautiful beige color, again with a snake skin handle. I don't know, I just had a luck with the snake skin handle, not that I was really looking for it, but they didn't have any other in the stock at the time I was purchasing them. Like, I didn't mind, it's, it's really nice. I mean, the feel is good and um, the burgundy with beige goes well as well. It does have a gold hardware. Again, the same what applies to the black applies to the beige one. Great for everyday bag. I just got a two handbags, you know, black and beige. I think these two colors are basic colors in any wardrobe. So I really wanted a Chanel handbag that would uh, be in black and beige and um, I get most use out of it. And this is really the handbag that I would uh, carry through the day. So for work it was amazing and you know even these days I wear it uh, when I need to carry a little bit more. Obviously through summer months I'm gravitating more to obviously colorful bags and smaller bags but yeah I mean you know the bigger bags I personally like to carry most with the coats or blazers uh, so during colder months. 
The next handbag in my collection is Chanel 19. And look at the color. I really love this color. It's like a blue purple color with the gold hardware. The strap has different hardware. I really, really love it. The size is amazing because it is soft leather. It's sort of mold and you can fit quite a lot. It's got one department. I've got my organizer already in it so it keeps its shape. It's got a zipper pocket on the side and you guys, it fits um, a lot. I love the fact that it's got the back pocket which is quite big so you can fit your iPhone and yeah, like really anything. You can carry top handle, the crook of your arm or on the shoulder and on top of it you can carry it crossbody. I'm 172 as I said and it fits perfectly and hits in the right spot when you wear it crossbody and I really like it. I was really worried when I was purchasing this bag because it is a lambskin. I carried this bag already several times and guys I'm so surprised. I mean it does not have any scratches, the corners are still like new. I don't see any wear or tear, so I am really surprised how this bag wears. I was really really worried when I was buying it and I was contemplating for a bit, which is not usual with me. Usually when I like something I just buy it, but yeah, very surprised with this leather guys. I would recommend it. I always tell everyone guys, get caviar skin leather, never get lamb skin, never get cow skin, never get anything else, so just the grain cow skin or like caviar leather, but love this bag. I always love the Chanel tweed bags, but also was worried about the material, you know, that you can catch on anything and everything with the handbag. If you've got any experiences, guys, with the tweed bags, you know, how it wears and what's your experience, is positive or negative, please leave them in the comments below. I would really love to know because that would be my next bag if, yeah, I can choose. Like, I would really love to add at least one Chanel tweed bag in my collection. Next handbag is this Chanel boy in medium size in a rainbow color. Guys, when this came out in the cruise collection, I think it was, uh, there were different like sort of rainbow colors. One was like the pinky color and obviously pinky. I really wanted it. However, it was sold out straight away. When I got my hands on this, I wasn't sure at first, but obviously I really wanted this rainbow color handbag. So, I got it and you know how everyone says things happen for a reason. I am so happy I got this one. I get so much use of it because for summer months this color combo is really really nice. I love that it's just a little bit of a yellow, blue, white and green and really in summer the bag is just beautiful. I have a lot of outfits that fit this color and it's really nice even with the silver hardware even so I'm not a silver hardware person, I think with the color combo it goes really, really nicely. Again, it is caviar leather, so really durable. Fits a lot because it is medium size. Uh, it's got only one pocket on a size, as you can see. And when I look at the back, you can't even see it was worn. Again, caviar leather, it, it wears so well. The next handbag in my collection is nothing else than Chanel Classic in medium size. Every Chanel lover should have at least one classic handbag. And this is with uh, gold hardware. Again, caviar skin, so looks like new. This one is a double flap with the typical Bordeaux inside. It fits a little bit more than the mini rectangular, but not too much more, uh, you really have to organize your bag, but it fits all my essentials and that's what I need. I do love the fact that you can carry it on your shoulder, strap doubled or just single, a little bit longer. Uh, would I ever wear this crossbody? No, I wouldn't and it doesn't definitely suit me because uh, as I said, I'm 172, so it would be like hitting me really high and I just don't like the look. It has also the back pocket which I use quite a bit for credit cards or anything else. I bought it when the prices were much better. With these price increases I'm more than happy that I've got 
in my collection for classics. I don't think I need any more classics in medium size. The next classic is in this gorgeous red color. Guys, this is the perfect red. It's like a red lipstick. I'm not sure how it comes in a camera, but it is the perfect red with champagne gold hardware, also in caviar, so you can't see it was even used. I uh, love it. I mean, this color is really beautiful, right? And I'm so happy. I was waiting such a long time. I really wanted a red handbag and I couldn't get my hands on a really nice red color. So this I was really, really happy to get. I love the classics. I love this medium size for my height. I mean, I like this small size for shorter women. It fits everything what I need, so love it. The next classic again in medium size is this denim i bought it uh, on one of my trips in vienna and i love denim besides pink i do love denim and i thought the two denim different shades is really nice especially with white combination this one is only single flap so it definitely fits more than the double flap and again one pocket look it's got even <laughs> still the wrapping and as much as i use it right and one zipper pocket on the side i think the denim with silver hardware is really nice uh it's more settled and yeah i've been using this bag already a few times and love it really really love it i mean what can you do wrong with denim right the last, I promise the last, classics in medium size is this iridescent pink and it is my nicest, I think, Chanel handbag. I love it. I love, love this color. Not just because I'm a pink lover, but the iridescent pink is really beautiful, guys. Again, caviar leather, so easy to match because the pink is not very, like, strong pink, so you can really consider it as a nude and wear it with so many outfits it is double flap handbag it does have a champagne gold hardware guys love it next one i would include which you saw in my other video i will link it here chanel hall this mini coco handle in the beautiful pink color again this handbag fits quite a bit i was quite surprised i think because um it gets uh, wider at the bottom so you can really stick quite a few things in it just for the comparison look at the colors this is pink this is iridescent pink and the iridescent pink is obviously a little bit lighter but yeah you can compare the colors i love the color i love both of them actually and yeah for style i really prefer the mini coco handle because as you know i love to carry handbags top handled or crook of your arms and for me this is always the winner i mean yeah i would definitely love to add another mini coco handle uh, not sure about the extra mini that just came out because it doesn't fit the iPhone For me, if the handbag doesn't fit an iPhone It's like no, no, but yeah, never say never. Maybe I will fall in love with one of the colors So we'll see. the next handbag in my collection is this uh, Small boy handbag in this blue color. I bought it actually for one of my birthday parties so I can match my dress and shoes i love this bag however i don't know if it's the style but yeah i'm not using it very often uh, it fits i would say the same amount as a mini rectangular it looks really like brand new i worn it only a couple times i still love it though it's a really nice bag I'm contemplating if I should let it go or not. What do you think, guys? Should I let it go? Should I keep it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything in this color in my collection, so I thought, you know, especially for the color, I should keep it the uh, Chanel 19 if you compare its very different blue. So, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, please. Next handbag in my collection is this mini rectangular in black patent leather with champagne gold hardware. Everyone knows the bag, it's got one compartment, pocket on the side, 
fits quite a bit really all my essentials i usually wear it crossbody so if it's the time to wear crossbody bags uh, i love wearing these again not much into black so i do not carry this bag very often because i don't wear black very often but it is still very nice bag uh, i opted for patent since i already have so much black caviar i wanted to see how patent wears looks brand new i haven't had any issue definitely wouldn't buy patent in light colors because i heard of the color transfer so a black patent is much easier to take care of right but i'm still keeping it only because everyone is so crazy about them and in Australia, the mini rectangles come only in a lambskin leather or sometimes they come with in a patent leather. So caviar leather hasn't came out in Australia for this mini rectangle for a very, very long time. The next one is this mini rectangle in this beautiful fuchsia color with champagne gold hardware. As you know, pink lover, definitely I would not let it go. Love it, especially with the maxi dresses. I, mean, I mostly wear it crossbody, uh, but sometimes I do just do a little knot and wear it uh, top handle. I've got also the organizer not to dirty the bag from inside when I uh, carry it. And I just have one organizer for this, the same sort of style, and I just change them to the bag that I use. I think this is the calf skin leather so it is a little bit more durable than lamb skin it is not the grain calf skin so obviously still can happen something to it but guys it looks like brand new there are no scratches there is really nothing it wears really well the next handbag in my collection and i am not sure if it's smaller now than the mini rectangular but let's say that it is it's this brown handbag in lambskin. Black and white, guys. What was I thinking? I'm not sure. Do you remember when this cruise collection came out that they were like the colorful one? If I find a picture, I will show you here. The round bags came with like a, um, a red, pink, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe a black combination with like a see through sort of uh, middle inside. Uh, like, I'm not sure exactly how the I look but it was like round and I really wanted that but then when I saw it from like close up I was like oh it looks really like a child bag so I decided to go for a leather version I love the look it's a little bit different you can carry in your hands and obviously you can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder depends on your height you can adjust it inside it's quite generous inside you see it's got a pocket inside guys it's got even the stickers right as i said i haven't carried it yet maybe it's just a collectible piece i don't know i really like the detailing on it when i saw it but yeah i haven't worn it especially because it's black and white for winter months i don't think i would be wearing such a small bag uh, i don't know let me know your thoughts. Should I keep it? Should I let it go? You know that my rule is if I don't wear a bag for a year, I would let it go. I thought this is a little bit exception because I thought I would just look at it. It's nice to look at it. <laughs> That's about it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts. The last but not the least is this pouch. Obviously, I bought it because of the dust pink and I had the matching Hermes uh slides guys don't buy bags just because of color i thought i would wear it for summer if you're not a pouch person don't buy it right anyhow i really love the fact of this little charm that was there i loved even the detailing you see it's like a pearly sort of thing dust pink color i really liked it however never ever <laughs> i carry this bag patent leather is this white part so when you carry it it doesn't get dirty uh, this is age calf skin leather so this i'm definitely letting go because yeah i bought it never used it i'm just including it to show you that it is still in my collection so guys that was it from my current chanel handbag collection i hope you enjoy it 
If you've got any questions about any of the bags, please let me know in the comments below. If you would like me to do a detailed review for any of them, let me know. I would uh, be delighted to do that for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Have a lovely day, guys, and take care of yourself. Ciao.